Well, your storm tracker forecast looks pretty good out there for today, but I tell you what, things are about to change significantly. So when you see a day like this, you need to just get out there and grab it. It's beautiful. It's warm and we've got partly sunny skies. Those cumulus clouds puffing up already. So we'll stay mostly to partly sunny today. The good news, the max track, no precipitation to go along with it. Showers and thunder showers up to the north. This is where the active storm track is. You got a way below pressure up over the Great Lakes. And that is where the severe threat will be, at least for today. There's a slight risk back to the west across the uh, southern plains there and as well. Slight risk that runs from Detroit down through Indy. But notice tomorrow the risk slides toward New England states, but does extend back to the southwest. It's a marginal risk for severe storms, but it is there pretty much for the entire viewing area because we've got a cold front dropping in. That ridge of high pressure that has kept things so nice for the past few days. It's still hanging around, but eventually it will weaken enough that this cold front drops in. So scattered showers and thunder showers start to fire a few overnight into tomorrow morning. That's around 6 a.m. But into the afternoon from noon on, watch for the development of some stronger storms. This is where we could get into some stronger wind gusts. The reason we have that marginal risk for severe storms tomorrow and as well, just torrential rain. You see that line forming and then dropping southeast. So from mid to late afternoon really is where we'll need to watch out and especially from the bluegrass in the southeastern Kentucky as that line heads southeast along with the cold front. Uh, by Thursday morning, it's still hanging around, so we'll keep a low end chance for a few showers and storms in. So we've got that going on. We'll see the potential for some locally heavy rain. It could be anywhere from about a quarter to a half inch for most, but there could be some folks pushing an inch. You want to talk about heavy rain, though, torrential rain, tropical rain. you got to go down south and talk about Nicholas. It came ashore overnight into early this morning and has just been swamping folks just to the east of Houston. You can just see that moisture funneling in off the uh, Gulf. Uh, so the heavier rain now streaming into New Orleans. 24-hour uh, rainfall totals this purple color. That's an indication of roughly about radar estimated 7 to 8-inch total. So there's spots around Galveston that's already seen over a half a foot. And you heard Chris talking about that potential for maybe near 20 inch totals. There could be isolated amounts that high and it's going to be running from Houston east to Louisiana, specifically just west of New Orleans. And look at this. The winds are down to 45 miles per hour. It's a tropical storm, but this slow movement, this slow crawl means they are going to be in this extended stretch of that torrential rainfall threat. So obviously they got a flash flood watch out from Beaumont going all the way east to Mobile. Uh, it's Tuesday through Thursday, just torrential life threatening flash flooding possible down there. It's 80 degrees in Lexington. We are on the muggy side. We've got dew points at 70. You felt that humidity come up as that southwest wind continues. Well, it'll be a very warm, summery, muggy afternoon today. But we've got those changes ahead tomorrow after highs in the mid to upper 80s. We'll dip to the upper 60s with a few showers and storms overnight and then track that potential for scattered showers and thunder showers, mainly again Wednesday afternoon. Notice the temperature hit upper 70s to low 80s tomorrow. We'll simmer down a bit and hang right around the low 80s heading into the upcoming weekend.